There's evidence of a literal crime committed upon the American people, and the evidence is right here. Okay, so Yankee, here's the other thing, and I've been showing this to people. These are two $1 bills. The top one we'll see is a 1957. The bottom one is 2017. Let's take a close look at the language on here because this first bill says, this certifies that there is on deposit in the treasury of the United States of America, $1 in silver payable to the bearer on demand. This modern dollar just says, the United States of America, one dollar. Where did the silver go? This is a huge problem. Obviously, a lot of silver stockers know that the paper money is no longer backed by anything of value. And that is why they're able to inflate the currency to the extreme degree that they're doing. Mm -hmm. And so if people are wondering what the future of US dollar looks like, well, look no further than this Zimbabwe $100 trillion commemorative. In, two, in early 2000s, Zimbabwe inflated their currency so much, they had to print, they didn't even stop at 100 trillion, they had to print $300 trillion bills, and it wouldn't even buy a cheeseburger. So that's what happens once governments unlink, and central banks really unlink the silver, the gold, and the paper. And we're in the paper phase. So it's probably a good idea to get yourself back on the silver standard. <laughs> well said, well said.